Um, ladies and gentlemen, in this example, I have my angle. Again, I have an initial and a terminal side. My initial is right here. Now, since it's going negative, that just means it goes in the negative direction, which is clockwise. So 210 degrees is going to look something like this. There's my terminal side. So I need to say, what is another angle that, what is another angle that's coterminal to that that is both positive and negative? Or I'm sorry, what is the smallest positive and negative coterminal angle? Well, if I go around this direction, can I continue going around in that negative direction? Yeah, right? I can continue going around there. So therefore, I can just say negative 210. And then I'm going to go again 360, but in the negative direction. Right? You're going to continue going, but that's in the negative direction. That's why I'm subtracting 360. So therefore, that's going to give you 570. Right? But it says we need a positive and a negative. If I keep on subtracting 360, am I ever going to get a positive number? No. Right? And therefore, I have to also add. 360. Because now, if, I, if you guys notice, this is negative 210. I want to figure out what is also going to be a positive angle. Well, if all the way around a circle is 360, if I take 210 plus 360, that's going to give me a positive 150 degrees. OK? So does everybody see? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll make them fit. That's fine. So does everybody see how on this example I have to add and subtract, but how on the last example I had to, um, I had to subtract?